Hello YouTube, Ultra Maximus back with another toy review. This time we're taking a look at the new Ninja Turtles figures for the upcoming Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. Um, yeah, so I picked these figures up at, what was it, Walmart, I think they were like $8.88 a piece, which these figures are not bad um, uh, as far as cost goes. But I will say this, I was out shopping yesterday and if you're looking to pick these figures up, if you're a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle fan and you're looking to get all the movie figures, because most people, if they're going to get them, are going to get all four figures, Target actually has a four-pack of all of these movie figures with the accessories. There is zero difference between the individual figures in this Target four-pack for $35. So you're spending about $40 on all of these figures because they'll go from like nine bucks to 12 bucks depending on where you're going. So you can save up to five to eight dollars or more uh, by buying all these figures at uh, Target for $34.99 versus buying all these for about $10 a piece. And they're the exact same figure. I wish I would have went to Target first. I would have got it there, but alas, I did not. So. Here we are going to start with Leonardo, leader of the Turtles. Um, yeah, so this movie, I'm really interested to see it. It looks pretty different. It is a Michael Bay produced film, but he's not directing it. The Turtles look interesting. They're very large, they're bulky, they're kind of more realistic, very different from what we're used to seeing. The other cool thing about them that I'm really digging from the commercials, all their gear seems to be crap and trash they have found in the sewers and they've made this this ninja and samurai type armor on everything um, with garbage uh, which is really really cool I am digging that so let's look at the uh, package itself and then we'll take a look at the figure and see what we think um, here we have at the top it says ninja turtles there's no teenage mutant on there because initially this film was going to be just called ninja turtles um, and everybody threw a fit and they threw Teenage Mutant back at the top of the title. So when you see uh, the logo pop up, it always says Ninja Turtles and then Teenage Mutant pops up at the top there. Um, and I think that was backlash from the fans uh, because it was initially just going to be called Ninja Turtles. And the film, I don't even know if he's, well, yeah, he's got to be a teenager because they, they mentioned that in one of the trailers. Um, they're like, what are you? We're ninjas. Well, we're you know, we're, we're teenagers and technically we're turtles um so they are teenagers they're probably 16 17 um 18 somewhere around there uh in the film so yeah it'll be interesting we're supposed to see like them growing up uh from the little baby turtles to the the big turtles now uh, there is also an evolution a uh, three pack at target that has a little tiny baby turtle it's got a half-sized kid turtle and then it comes with this uh, movie figure well and it's not just a repaint of the ninjas in training from the Nickelodeon uh, toy line it's a whole new kid turtle um, sculpt I mean and they're kind of they kind of look like these which is very 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 strange um, but yeah so those are out there so we're gonna see uh, the turtles as they grow up in this film which is kind of interesting so looking at the packaging, what I do like about all the Turtles uh, figures, you've got this lineup of all the Turtles on the side, and then you've got a picture of the Turtle who's in the blister pack right up front there with their color right there, which is very cool stuff. Um, none of the other figures have that. Uh, April does not have that. Splinter does not have that. Shredder or the Foot Soldier. Um, there's also a Raff in Disguise figure, which I really do like. I may end up picking that up as well, but I did not in the initial run of figures I bought them. Um, looking at a close-up here, so here we have the title, there are all of the turtles, and then of course we've got Leonardo, here he is in package, looking all kinds of cool, and now I will say off the cuff, um, one thing you have to do is look at these figures and find one that is painted halfway decent, because there is a lot of sloppy paint on these figures, uh, way to go. Uh, playmates. They really dropped the ball on that. Um, there's really nothing on the sides of the packaging. Unlike the Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, this is not 
shelled or anything, which is unfortunate. There's nothing on the bottom. Here is the back of the package. Um, basically, you've got a little write-up here, which I'll show you here in a second. You've got all four turtles. Go buy them at Target in one pack, save some money. You've got Splinter, which looks like a weird cross between a kangaroo and a squid. It is horrible. I am not going to buy it. You have April O'Neil, which also looks really, really bad. You have the Shredder, which I will talk about. I got the Shredder, and I also got the Foot Soldier, which we will talk about those uh, in other reviews. So just kind of a close-up real quick. Um, we have this kind of nice action shot. This is basically um, the same artwork that we have on the side. They're just grouped together differently. Um, here is the write-up. If you want to pause and read that, you can. Um, and then, of course, we have all the other turtles. And then if you want to look at what April and Splinter looks like, because I'm not going to review them. I mean, they look terrible. Just terrible. Not good at all. So, let's get this guy out of the package and see what we think of him. Alright, so here we have Leonardo out of package, and he does look cool. I really do dig this sculpt. A lot of people are kind of sketchy on the turtles um, in this new movie, because they do look a lot different, but I like it. Uh, I like how they're hunched, I like how they're big, I like how they're wearing garbage. Um, it's cool. It's definitely cool, and it is reflected in this figure. Um, now, sculpt-wise, this is an amazing figure. It is beautifully done. Well done to the uh, designers who actually put this together. There are flaws on this figure, and I'm going to talk about those. Um, but first, it comes with a, this is everything you can buy! Woo! Now, um, I will say that uh, the large 11-inch figures... I've seen those. Those look really, really cool. There's the Evolution uh, 2 packs, and as you can see, if I can get a close-up here, uh, the teenagers are really, really kind of weird. So you get a turtle, a teenager, and then a full-grown one. And these masks, oh, how creepy are those? Very creepy. Um, but, uh, yeah, these down here, these little action uh, figures with the spinning stuff, those are awesome. They're very well done, very well sculpted, well painted, and they look like a lot of fun, so I may have to pick those up. Um, the biggest drawback to this figure is the paint apps. Um, the first thing that you notice that's kind of striking, and let's see if I can zoom in here, um, here's Leonardo, and this is the same artwork that's on the package. Um, it is missing a lot of the paint apps. Um, most notably, their eyes have uh, little pupils on the back of the box, and they don't here. That's fine. I don't like that. I like the masks without the pupils. I think it looks cooler. The problem is the rest of his costume. Um, just to get the bitching out of the way, there is no paint app on the armor piece on his uh, wrists. Right there, there's a lot of detail on his leg that is not painted out, and um, the shoes, uh, they're just green. It looks like a, a type of flip-flop. He's got this cool little boot thing going on, and then this is supposed to be wrapped underneath to give him support, and they just left it green, which is very, very, very disappointing. The other issue is, uh, like, the belt buckles and stuff, um, those are just left brown, which is very, very sad. And then it's the same brown as the shell itself. It would have been nice to see a little bit more paint detail on there. Um, that being said, the sculpt of this guy is great. I love it. It's beautiful. Um, the articulation is really good. His head does move back and forth. His arms do come up and down. Um... The elbow joints do uh, move. You also have his hips and his knees. The only thing it is missing, really, is there is no articulation in the wrist, um, which is unfortunate. Uh, yeah, just that's that's kind of a miss. And the the plastic is interesting. The body, the plastic's a really great sculpt. The body has like this softer rubber um, type plastic um, with a very hard shell, which is very cool. I do dig that. Uh, soft um, rubber for his little wraparound on his uh, waist there. He's got this little loose bandana, which is cool. 
that's a little different. He does have his uh, sword sheaths, which plug into the back. He is the only turtle that can store his weapons, by the way, which is unfortunate. The knees even have not only a hinge, but they can twist, uh, which is really cool. Um, his swords are kind of interesting. You have kind of this butterfly uh, tip there, which is really cool. Lots of belt buckles and all kinds of things on um, the little wrap around and then his sheath I just looks really really nice I really do dig the figure um, in a comparison here if I can get this one to stand is I don't think it's going to stand stand turtle there we go uh, I can zoom out here so there he is in comparison with the Nickelodeon version zoom in here um, very very different but also very very cool um, about the same exact blue I think on the paint uh, is used on these guys so yeah definitely cool stuff he looks really really nice they do a good job with it um, I'm, I'm just very impressed with the figure I think he looks really really nice um, can't really say that much wrong about it except for the paint apps. Uh, his little swords do go in, which is cool. Ooh, helps if I twist them the right way. Shunk. So if he wants to store his weapons, he most certainly can do so. He looks kind of gimpy right there with his arms down like that. Um, hey, how are you doing? Yeah, I mean, so all in all, it's a really good figure. Um, they did a good job in the sculpt. It's the paint that lacks severely, and that's very, very disappointing. Um, I mean, you could fix it pretty easy, um, but you shouldn't have to. That's the thing. The only thing that makes me gripe less about these guys having bad paint apps versus, like, say, a Transformer from Hasbro is they're about seven dollars cheaper okay <laughs> i can i can live with that a little bit better than i can a 15 dollar deluxe figure from hasbro so yeah there it is but pretty cool it's going to be interesting to see the film and see what he ends up looking like um if you're a teenage mutant ninja turtles fan you're definitely going to like these i think um but yeah Definitely interesting. Uh, really digging him. So there is Leonardo from the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie at the time of this recording due out next month. So thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, thumbs it up. If you hated it, thumbs it down. Be sure to share my videos and uh, always subscribe. I do appreciate that. And as always, look for more videos in the future.